commencing restart in three, two, one. Despite starting the game with crazy elite skills and an unbelievably capable 3D printer at his disposal, Watch Dogs 2's Marcus needs to spend plenty of money and upgrade points before he can max out his sticking it to the man potential. Some purchases are invaluable, others sound better than they really are. So here are six of the best we'd suggest you pick up first. I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, hacktivist mode. Activate. Even in Watch Dogs 2's world of chaotic countercultural thievery and murder, the old cliché is true. You have to spend money to make money. In this case, though, you have to spend research points to steal money more efficiently. By far the easiest way to make in-game cash is to hack the bank balances of innocent randoms on the street. The catch is, most of them are flat broke and hardly worth the effort. The improved profiler, purchasable under the social engineering branch, will alert you to nearby big fish, whose decadent lifestyles mean they have more than 70 bucks in the bank. Hack these high rollers and you'll net yourself at least $400. Walk with me, Marcus. Once you've stacked mad paper, around 67k, your first cash purchase should be the quadcopter. Believe us when we tell you, it's an insanely useful piece of kit. You'll still need the RC jumper for accessing closed off areas with conveniently placed vent grills, but the rest of the time you'll want to be airborne. We definitely suggest using the quad for reconnoitering prior to attack or infiltration, and you'll also need it for obtaining hard to reach research points or key data. Spend enough and you can also upgrade the drone to carry remote activated shock devices and IEDs, adding metaphorical teeth to your very literal eye in the sky. Marcus's man bag is no bigger than a medium-sized purse, so he can only carry two lethal weapons plus a taser. You'll need to use your weapon slots carefully, and the best choices will depend on your playstyle. If you prefer to go all guns blazing, then just get the biggest ones with the coolest names, but if you have any interest in stealth, then we'd suggest printing one that's quiet, and, for when things inevitably go wrong, one that's exactly the opposite. Specifically, we enjoy dishing out instant oblivion using the Control alt delete grenade launcher after thinning out the crowd with the silenced zero-day assault rifle. Neither is cheap, but what in life ever is. Powering up. System check. Sweet! Let's roll. units, we are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Any of the cars of Watch Dogs 2 will get the job done, but some of them will get it done with style and finesse. We wouldn't bother with a full collection, but once you've found your absolute favourite, consider dropping into a dealership and buying one. After you do, it'll be available on the Car On Demand app whenever you want. Your face is too dark for my sensors to read. Offering three whole tiers of increasingly deadly upgrades, the Gang Hit system gives you the chance to frame anyone you like for a serious breach of street etiquette. You can then hang back with total impunity and watch said unfortunate get got. Inflict this on a random passerby and they'll be dispatched in seconds, but target an NPC with their own gang affiliations and you can trigger a full-blown shootout that often escalates to include the police. While that's going on, you can just slip into a nearby restricted area and help yourself to whatever goodies or hacks you had your eye on in the first place. A little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Finally, arguably the most valuable upgrade you can purchase in Watch Dogs 2 is the Mass Comms Disruptor. It distracts civilians with saucy and or intriguing text messages and enemies with a burst of unbearable earpiece feedback. While that's going on, you can penetrate deep into enemy territory, grab cash pickups, steal a car or melee a tricky guard or two. The best reason to use the Mass Comms Disruptor is the situation you don't plan for, though. It's an invaluable tool for getting out of an otherwise hopeless situation, and with save points being brutally sparse in most missions, you'll definitely want to keep it ready to go. For a limited time, Watch Dogs 2 is free when you get game ready with a GeForce GTX 1080 or 1070 graphics card or powered notebooks. 